it's not a job to me, it's a joy. I never get up and regret going to work or don't want to go to work when I'm working bees. Every time I sit down and eat lunch or eat dinner somewhere, I always look at my plate. What did a bee affect on that plate? The hamburger right there? I promise you somewhere somebody's planted alfalfa crop to feed the cow. So somewhere a beekeeper put bees on alfalfa to pollinate the alfalfa to cut the seed off of it to plant the alfalfa to feed the cow. So you look at everything on that plate and what did a bee affect indirectly or directly? Back when I first started in the 80s, our biggest fear was bears. We went from a 300 pound black bear to destroying a hive of bees to a little tiny mite the size of a flake of pepper. When you pull up to a bee yard and you see bees crawling on the ground, their wings are just nubbed up and they can't fly. They can't forage, they can't go get nectar, and they can't work for the hive right there. If I don't treat these in six months, 10 months, all these bees will be dead. We're losing 50 to 60% of bee colonies to varroa mites. The varroa mite is a worldwide problem. It spreads quite readily, as you might imagine. Honeybees go from hive to hive, and it carries quite quickly. The typical solutions are no longer effective as they used to be. Some of the solutions also aren't really the best for the beekeepers. This is our small-scale production facility to make double-stranded RNA for agricultural solutions. We're able to make kilos and metric tons of material. and It's really required that you're able to put it on millions of acres, and we have the capability to do that. RNA is extremely specific. It will only really target the pests that you're after, leaving the pollinators, the ladybugs, the butterflies. In late 2020, we were happy to acquire some technology for the varroa mite product. We take a look at the biology of the varroa mite, and we very specifically target something that's only in the varroa mite biology. What we did once we got that technology was very quickly scale it and go out with field trials. We're going to register the product with the EPA in a couple of months, and we certainly hope to have the product late 2023, early 2024. It's something we feed to the bees that actually kills the mites in the brood and keeps them from raising in the brood where the mites are at. And I've been working with this material for several years doing blind field trials. The material that Greenlight produces would give us an opportunity to break the mite cycle up. If we could use it twice a year, then that would give us a break from using our hard miticides. Over the years, Greenlight has worked really closely with its investor base, and we've been able to attract investors that have a similar mission and similar interests to ours, ones that are interested in bringing solutions to people that don't typically get them. I'm Edward Lees, and together with my business partner, Ulrich Fugman, we co-head BNP Paribas Asset Management's Environmental Strategies Group. We were introduced to Greenlight through one of the venture investors. We tend to talk to people in the venture community, so we're aware of interesting new technologies that are coming around the corner. And we saw in Greenlight something that we hadn't seen before. That they're bringing a novel technology, RNA-based, like we've seen with COVID vaccines, that allows them to bring effective and quick solutions to pressing environmental issues. My role is to help build the firm's active environmental investment business that looks to support environmental solution providers. When you look at trying to provide solutions to the agricultural market, there's a couple of things that you really need. You need to be able to make at really large scale, and you need to be able to give the farmer a solution that's competitive to the typical chemical pesticides that he uses. Time is an issue, and there is a race against the clock. We think it's very important to focus on what companies are doing and finding those that are really making a difference through their products and services. Increasingly, what we see are huge growth opportunities, huge investments being made, and that creates the backbone for very exciting investment opportunities. Everybody can be part of the solution too, whether by trying to get a job at a company or by investing more intentionally. And in there, there's a strong message of hope for everybody. My hopes of the future of beekeeping that we can get something to control the mites with and make a good living with beekeeping. Most people, after they've done something 30 years, they've retired, drawing a pension somewhere, and I'm still working bees and can continue to work bees. It's something I love to do. And that's about it. I think I, I can't say anything else.